Today marks one month since the disappearance of a 25-year-old from El County. Now the circumstances around Thomas Hughes' disappearance leaves his family and investigators searching for answers. Amanda Lee spoke with his girlfriend and parents who recall the night he went missing. He, he walked in the room and he just shined. You know, people gravitated to him. Did he make mistakes? Absolutely. Was he perfect? No. I'm saying like as if he's not here. Is he perfect? No. But he's my imperfect son. In my eyes, Tommy is perfect. I mean, he's, he's outgoing. He has a heart of gold. Perfectly imperfect. Well-liked. Heart of gold. When it comes to my kids, he, he was a great father figure, a great stepdad. A family man. Him and I went and got our puppy Duke. Duke is really the only part of Tommy that I have left. Reagan Ruff has known her boyfriend Tommy for seven years and never expected this when the pair decided to visit his family on Saturday, January 23rd. We loaded up and went down for, it was just for the night. That's all it was, it was just an overnight visit. Reagan and Tommy left their home here in Ridgeway to go to Pittsburgh, but Reagan came back alone. That night, Tommy was drinking when he went to the upstairs bathroom and locked himself inside. His dad had gone up multiple times to check on him. I myself went up multiple times and he just kept saying that nothing was wrong, like he was okay. Reagan says Tommy was sweating, possibly panicking. Next thing you know, he came running down the steps off the door. Last thing he said was, can you just trust me one time? Thomas got in their minivan and left. His father followed a short time later. I was driving everywhere and calling all his friends, you know, and no one do anything. The police were called and the search began. Surveillance video captured him at a gas station, then driving his minivan through the city and finally heading toward the Monagahela River. That final video was captured at 3.38 a.m. Tommy's vehicle was eventually found by his parents on 18th Street near Riverfront Park in Pittsburgh. Everything was in her. The only thing that was missing was him. Keys still in the ignition. Tommy's belongings still in the minivan. Police spend days canvassing the area and searching the river, coming up empty-handed. It's just like he literally disappeared. Every time I close my eyes, I see horrible images of possibilities. His phone and credit cards have not been used. Do you think he's still alive? In my heart, and maybe it's me being selfish, but yeah, I, I truly believe that he's still alive. The unknown is agony. I don't know. I don't know and I'm scared to death. So his family waits. He's out there somewhere. Whether he's dead or alive, I still want him home. Hoping someone will come forward with the tip, the clue, the sighting. In Ridgeway, Elk County, Amanda Lee, WTAJ News.